Oh, okay. I took some time, did some research on Daedra, and... I mean, well, I, I can't leave this dialogue menu anyway, so we're just gonna accept this. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. <gasps> if they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. So... The quest here is that we're sent through an Oblivion Gate where we fight hordes of Lesser Daedra until we get to this big tower where we pull out the Sigil Stone, thereby closing the gate and putting a stop to this invasion from a foreign plane. You know, protecting people, that's that's all well and fine. But let's talk about Daedra. For those, you know, not in the know, Daedra is like an envelope term describing creatures who hail from the plains of Oblivion. And uh, not all of Oblivion looks like Lethal Lava Land, by the way. Uh, there's a lot of Oblivion out there. We could talk at length about Elder Scrolls lore, because this shit runs pretty deep. But my whole focus and hang-up here is whether or not the Lesser Daedra that we encounter possess full-blown human sapience, or if they're more animal-like in their sentience. As with a lot of stuff in Elder Scrolls, it's left seemingly purposefully pretty vague. The enemies we're running into here? They're called scamps, and specifically at my current level of two, stunted scamps. In the in-game book, Varieties of Daedra, we find the passage, <clears throat> The feral, beast-like Daedra, like the Clanfear and the Daedroth, appear in the service of many different Daedric powers, and may represent common creatures existing like wild animals in the wildernesses of oblivion. Other, savage, semi-intelligent creatures like Scamps and Spider Daedra may also be found in the realms of various Daedra lords. This passage puts my mind a bit at ease, but it lacks objectivity. You know, it's written by a person within universe. And anyway, I don't want to stay stuck on this for too long. I decided I was going to leave this place and just come back later. And here, I'll just let my live reaction explain my thought processes here. Well, this is kind of an unfortunate situation, not sure how to handle it. I mean, this shit right here was gonna happen regardless of our involvement, right? I mean, so I'm not pinning these deaths to us. Having said that, we don't have to do this right now. And if we hold off and level up a ton because of Oblivion's stupid level scaling, we can start to push the Daedra spawn tables a bit so that maybe it's weighted more for the ones that are like blatantly sentient. Like, you know, Dramora and uh, Jib. Zivali, Zivalea, Zivalia. I'm not sure how to say that one. Oh yeah, I uh, I posed the question of how I should atone for the potential Stingray leather grip on the katana that I briefly used, and there were a lot of good responses. But one in particular by I think I play games was my favorite. They suggested that I find the heaviest vegan item that I can carry and keep it in my inventory. I think this is great because it plays like directly into my biggest weakness, which is inventory management. <laughs> So, I checked it out, and the heaviest vegan alchemy ingredients are pumpkins or watermelons. I'm a sucker for alliteration, so we'll now be carrying around a permanent penance pumpkin. That is five pounds permanently removed from my carry capacity. All because I didn't do the research that I should have first. Hopefully this is a strong motivation to pay better attention going forward. Potentially ponderous permanent penance pumpkin. Anyway, later fellas. Uh, have fun chilling up here on Mount Doom be back in a few months probably okay where are we going still looking for a calm spell let's check out anvil i see that we've got a level up available so good god that lightning is loud i see that we've got a level up available <laughs> i see that we've got a level up available so are you gonna let me finish my goddamn sentences jesus oh my god is this lightning gonna last forever i've never I've like never bailed on this quest before in a previous playthrough. I don't know if like this environmental effect will just never subside now. Okay, I'm gonna stay at this inn and level up. I'm gonna try to keep pushing our level up whenever I can from here on out. Hello, oh, both of you. Hello. Not a fan of that, not at all. I hope I can help. Yeah, give me a room. But there's a bed free if you need it. Up the stairs in the back. Be seeing you. Actually, wait. Much Do I have money for this? Let's put some points in Merchantile. I'd like to be a little wealthier, you know? You can use trainers five times per level up, so I might as well, like, sell some stuff to afford the other three training opportunities. Hey! It's Dunson Post here. Uh, so this whole segment here began what I'll call the, uh, the alchemy loop. 
I'd make potions, adding the word vegan in brackets to each and every one, by the way, sell those potions to this dude, buy training in mercantile, level up, is it mercantile? Anyway, level up from all the alchemy experience gained through making potions, go back downstairs, make and sell more potions, train in mercantile, go back up, lather, rinse, repeat. I'm just kind of rambling through all the footage. I mean, there's like nothing really interesting to share with you guys either. Anyway, I leveled up three more times in this process, ending up at a total level of five. Okay. Oh, hey, the doom storm is gone. Uh, we've got a good money-making source now, and considering that I'm on the fence about the whole scrolls being vegan thing, I'm gonna just go ahead and drop them all. Ooh, ooh, they put a book in my inventory. Okay, onward to Anvil. I think I'm gonna allow myself to fast travel back to places that I've already visited, so I can, like, speed my way back to cities and not get sidetracked so often. You piece of shit. Was this really necessary? People in the comments were talking about what my personal main quest should be, like liberating every animal, but I'm not sure exactly how to accomplish that. Like in gameplay terms, you know, guards will infinitely spawn. You can never get rid of all of them. Whoa, is this what Aloe looks like in the wild? I've kept some around for years, but he's just a little tiny guy in a pot. There's like an inn every five feet out here. Oh, hello there. Are, are you, are you the ops? If I step out here, do we become enemies? I'm worried, I'm worried you're gonna be, okay, yeah. Your money or your life. Yeah, sorry man, I'm not, I'm not gonna take that from someone covered in leather. Actually, that's the way this one prefers it. Miss. Okay, let's actually try to hit him this time. Ugh. Kind of already see the diminishing returns of our spells now that we've leveled up. I was two-shotting bandits just yesterday. Hey, there's Anvil. Oh, I, I think that's Maik. Hey, Maik, what's up? Ah! Calm. Calm? Oh, no. Timberwolves are too high level to calm. I should have found a better spell. Oh, f shouldn't have leveled up. What do I do? He's faster than me. Okay, okay. Let's let's think for a second. How am I gonna? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I, I did not plan for this. I didn't calculate accordingly. I don't want to run to the city because that'll lead to your death. <laughs> Why is Oblivion's pathing AI so much better than Skyrim's? No, no! Don't path to me! Stop! Eee! We we can't. We can't outpace this thing. Thank god the attack animation slows him down or I'd be screwed. Oh god, is that another one? Oh god, a fucking guard! I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place here! Please. Please. Did I, did I find a safe spot? Oh, yes, run away. Oh my God, I think I found an out. This is the chance. Let's make a break. Is that an inn? I, I don't care. I, I just, I need, to, I need somewhere to hide. Oh, hi buddy, I talked to you, but I'm in grave physical danger right now. Thank God we made it. Whew, okay. Where are we right now? Slip. Okay, yeah, that definite that does say slave quarters. And this one too. Lord Drod's estate. Well, guess who I'm about to pay a visit to? About to go John Brown over here. Hello, ma'am. Did you know that you're a slave owner? I Greetings, traveler. What is your business here? I'm killing you. Ah. Uh. You know what, I could be jumping to conclusion. I, Goodbye. I want to be certain before I take someone's life. Maybe they don't actually have slaves. It's Maybe it's like the name of an S&M nightclub with a very problematic name. Or maybe it's empty. Wait, why would I steal if I think there's slaves that live here? What is wrong with me? Huh. Yeah, this, this place is empty empty. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take the crops at least, but I've got I've got my eye on this place. This is definitely a side quest of some sort. Okay, so safely getting to Anvil proved difficult. Let's head to Skingrad again and see if I can't buy some apprentice tier alchemy equipment. Make some higher value potions. I don't know, it's something to do. Oh, yes, a wonderful example of why I hate this city's design. All right. Okay, Fighters Guild, Mages, all things alchemical. There we go. Bonk. How do you do? Eh, just got mauled by a wolf. Hey, what's up? I'm Falano, House Lalo. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices. You only sell novice crap. Take care. Novice, novice, novice. Not really all things alchemical, are we? Hmm. Maybe we go to... Okay, so I looked it up. Apprentice gear doesn't show up until level 6. <laughs> so I guess that that means. Hey, I'm back to sell some stuff. Me? An excellent bark. Look at that cash. I think we found our little niche here. The market demands vegan potions. Take care. Yeah! We can't talk here. Oh, sh you. you? Meet me behind the Great Chapel at midnight. Don't let anyone follow you. I'll make it worth your while. He you finally caught up with me. Weird little goober. Okay. You know what? It's some sort of tangible goal. Okay, let's, let's do the side quest. We're gonna follow this guy. You ever just stand around for five hours behind a church? All right, buddy, what's the deal? Ah, you came. You're sure you weren't followed? Good. I thought I could trust you. Nobody else in town. They're all in on it. All watching me. I need you to do something for me. I'll pay you. You like gold, don't you? I have been known to enjoy a gold or two. Here's my problem. I'm being followed. Watched. I'm a threat, you see, to their plans. I know too much. Oh, sweet. A skin. I need you to check out some people for me. Watch them. See where they go. Who they report to. Will you help me? You know what? I'll humor the guy if this lands us some extra cash. We have found a certified member of r slash gangstalking here. Let's start with Bernadette Penniless. See where she goes and who she reports to. We'll meet here again tomorrow night. Oh, and never contact me in public. Never know. He could actually be a targeted individual. Don't let her see you watching. This is Bernadette. Okay. I guess we just got to hang out here. <laughs> I can't see these buckets where like they stomp wine or grapes for wine without thinking of that video where the woman's like I heard she actually like, she legitimately broke a bone there so we, people really shouldn't make fun of her I learned the hard way that if I uh, if I think I'm about to die that my vocal cords tighten up when I try to yell one time in my job as a service technician I was being trained by an older co-worker and he was driving the work van and he was pulling out of a parking garage, but then he like looked at his phone or looked away or something. And he just like was speeding up really fast to like crash into a medium. And I wanted to get his attention, but like I was like imminently ready for like impact. So as the, the van is like speeding up like full speed to hit this thing, my vocal cords tighten up and my body gets really tense and I try to yell at the same time, but it ends up coming out like, and I just sound like Hank Hill. I learned that if I'm in a life or death situation, I sound like Hank Hill. The eagle has left the nest. Now in pursuit. Hi, I'm sneaking. Is this even the right person? Okay, okay, yeah, we're good. So do I just like hang out here and watch them? Is that what I'm doing? Get out of there, Eagles heading to your position. Dun 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 Hey there. <laughs> Lovely morning, isn't it? No 
This lady is really taking her sweet time. Oh, there's a little sheep. Hello. Hello there. God, how long is she going to do? <gasps> oh my God. Oh my goodness. There's a whole crew. Look at them. Oh, it's a little sheep conga line. I I'm in love. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hello. Are you the leader? Yes, you are. You're the... Okay, I'm, I've, <laughs> I've obviously lost interest in this quest. I'm just going to lie and tell Glarther that I didn't see anything, which, I mean, it's barely a lie. This lady was really just going about with her daily routine, It's it seems. The guy is just paranoid. You ever just hang out behind a church for 14 hours so that you can meet up with a paranoid schizophrenic and tell him he's not as important as he thinks he is? So, you saw Bernadette Penelis, did you? She was literally just living her life, dude. Really? I was sure she was watching me. But there is someone else I need you to investigate. Oh boy. Another one. Tutius Sextius, you should wait outside his house and see what he does when he's not watching me. I'll meet you here tomorrow night to get your report. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm not going through that pointless stealth segment again. I'm just gonna wait for him over here. You ever just get tired of investigating for someone and then blow off the responsibility and wait for 12 hours behind a church? Oh wait, I'm stupid. That's 12 p.m., not a.m. You ever just realize that you're an idiot who forgets that we operate on a 24-hour clock, so you have to wait another 12 hours behind a church? Really? So you're saying that neither Bernadette Penelis or Tutius Sextius is part of the conspiracy against me? I wonder what price betrayal. Never mind. Oh God, he thinks we're in on it now, doesn't he? I do have one more name for you. David Sorley? Perfect cover for the ringleader of the whole conspiracy! He watches my house constantly. Yeah, 100%. I'm not doing shit here either. All right, man, I'm gonna go uh, right over here and look for him right behind this. Oh, okay, you're, you're going this way? I'll, I'll go the other one. We don't wanna, you know, we don't wanna look like we're working together, right? <laughs> All right, this time I know better. You ever just wait outside for an indeterminate amount of time? So, what did you discover about the upstanding David Surly? Bro, you will never guess what I discovered. Just as I suspected, they've gotten to you too! Oh, god damn it. Now I know for sure that they are all in on it, and therefore they all have to die, starting with you! This is why we need to fund mental health care. Come on. Calm What's down. Okay, fired. that doesn't work. Did all I could. And to think I trusted you. That was a depressing quest. Jeez. Hey dude, uh, I just killed a guy over there. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. Uh, might as well loot his house with that key we found. Shamir. Tamika. Glarther, there we go. Good God, dude. A little morbid, huh? I mean, we can't just let this stuff go to waste, right? Honestly, I kind of feel bad. I'm worried that those people, like, might have actually been stalking him. Oh, cool. Uh, killing him was totally justified. Never mind. Good ending. So... I'm still working on Vegan Bioshock Part 4 and needed to take a little break and work on something else for a bit. So I hope this was enjoyable. As always, a huge shout out to my lovely patrons over at patreon.com forward slash poor dunce. And an extra special thank you to my turbo supporters, Jade Tigers Typing, Lucas Gabriel, Malacandra, Mazakine Maze, Mr. Floyd, Olive, Rain the Little Lamb, and Sour Pears. I really and truly appreciate you all so much. And I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Thanks. <laughs>